Happy Wednesday, hope you're all having a fantastic day and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Team. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. You guys have probably already noticed, but we have brand new thumbnails for the I Rate Your Team series. I thought I'd quickly just showcase this to show this is the sort of new style. I don't know if you guys have noticed recently, but uh, I've took on a designer to the channel, something I've never done before is have somebody help me produce content. So I've got a graphic designer now, and he's been doing a fantastic job. Uh, so shout out to you, Smash, for the amazing work with the thumbnails. I just thought I'd quickly share that in there. I also want to quickly plug the Discord as well. We're now at over 2,600 members, which is absolutely redonkulous. Uh, I just wanted to quickly have a look at a couple teams. So we've got Zinc's team here. Let's have a quick look at it. Uh, he is rocking uh, Hulk. He's got Leonardo at left wing, uh, Bellarabi, Svine. I would say with this team, try and get yourself the brand new Goretzka. It's going to take you a little bit of grinding towards getting, but I would say try and get yourself the brand new Goretzka, and that gives you a little bit more freedom to go with a, a different left center mid or striker, depending on how you're playing. Um, also, maybe grinding towards getting the right back Rafael Varane. No, that's that's wrong. Sergio Ramos um, eventually as well. Given that they're both player SBCs with no time remaining, you can, you can grind to them for however long you want. So and that's what I love about the player SBCs this year is that you have unlimited time to grind them. I think it's a really cool feature from EA. Um, so their two SBCs I would probably put on your to-do list or your checklist, um, but it's a very nice team. Last but not least, if you're wondering how to be involved in the episodes, something I don't always touch upon is how to get involved in the episodes. If you want to get involved, take a hasty screenshot from either your PlayStation or your Xbox. Links in the description to how to do both of those and tweet me the screenshots. Hopefully it's two if you're playing a different form formation in game to how you start for chemistry like how Aaron's done here he starts the 4-2-3-1 wide and he's tweeted me the 4-2-3-1 narrow as well how he starts and how he plays in game uh just tweet me them with a description of your team sort of how many players sorry how many coins you got who's untradeable that's tradable um anything you want to tell me basically about your team uh, and we'll get straight into it so I mean, let's start off straight with Aaron's team. He says, first is start and second is in game the only tradables are Griezmann, Wijnaldum uh and Kante Doing Maldini from swaps, and I've got 600,000 coins for improvements. Anything appreciated. Love the content, bro, and keep up the great work. I really appreciate it, dude. Quickly as well, the only thing I'm going to say, use the hashtag it's Haber in the tweet. I totally forgot to say that, but yeah, you guys get it. It's all hashtag it's Haber. Uh, use the hashtag it's Haber because hashtags are the only way you can actually search for things on Twitter um, without getting spam of loads of other things. Hashtag just make it super easy. So... Uh, let's check it out. So he's starting with a 4-2-3-1 wide, and he's playing Griezmann Ockham over on the right CDM spot. Uh, and this is what he plays in game with Wijnaldum and Kante as the two DMs. Uh, Griezmann at striker, uh, Bernardo Silva and Sane as the two wide cams, and Mares as the central cam. Now, what I would say with this team, Griezmann, I'm not the biggest fan of as a lone striker. I think he can do better as a lone striker here. Um, and I'm just thinking about who you can really go for here um, to help you out. So obviously you're going to go with Maldini instead of Foyth. Um, although that won't make any difference to chemistry whatsoever. Everything will sort of stay the same. You've got 600,000 coins for improvements. I am inclined to say, is Griezmann untradeable? Let me double check. Did you say Griezmann's untradeable or not? Because I'm not a big fan of Griezmann. The only tradables are Griezmann. Beautiful. Let's have a look how much Griezmann's going for. Let's combine this because I'm just not a big fan of Griezmann this year. The way I see it, 83 pace is a little bit too slow. 64 strength and 75 aggression. Not the greatest combo. You want to be able to outmuscle people or at least keep the ball in the feet. Um, good ball control and dribbling. Uh, good shooting. Um, you know, and, and really good passing. But I don't think he's fantastic for the striker role. And he's 248k. So you have about 800,000 coins for a striker. Now, given that I'm predicting, and I think a lot of other people are predicting, we get Premier League Team of the Season this Friday. You could wait for Premier League Team of the Season to get a striker. If you're not looking to do that, I think Scream Aguero is a good call. Uh, I almost typed in Scream then. <laughs> um, Scream Aguero is a good call. He had a big pace upgrade on a Scream card. Uh, he's actually pretty strong in game. Got great shooting stats, great dribbling stats. Um, and he's pretty quick off the mark. He is a decent shout you could also go with the informer bamian currently in there now he's more of a fast but less dribbling ability um when we're talking about uh, a play you know he's got 73 balance it's not fantastic you can always put a chem style in to improve it but not ideal it, you know it's it's great but it's not fantastic it's not ideal for a lot of people that like doing tiki taka dribbling um but that could be a decent option if you're looking for just someone that's straight pace um there's a few different options there's also you could play someone like uh you could save up sorry for someone like zaha's uh team of the season card uh it will take you a little bit of saving but oh actually i think you can afford him actually with 600k plus two yeah you can afford team of the season zaha would also be a decent shout and one thing i i, I think is going to be a good shout if you replace griezmann with one of these players 
is White Alum gets a start at CDM. And with White Alum starting CDM, you have more uh, chance with the kickoff boost. You don't have a, a CDM slash centre mid uh, rocketing forward, trying to shoot and stuff like that. You have an actual striker, so it'll be a little bit better on the ball and stuff. Um, but I think that I think the team's good. And I, I like the uh, I like the layout of the team as well. Um, I like your cams as well. I like I like Banana Silva and Sane. Next one is from Don't Get Eid. Or Eid get. <laughs> he says, Hi, I play a 4 4 2 in game with Hernandez up top. Son, Wambasaka, and Luis are the only tradables on the benches, too. I have 50,000 coins to spend and I don't mind saving. Hernandez is from the mid icon pack. Okay, check it out. So, um, your bench are tradables as well. Interesting. Wait, he says, uh, Son, Wambasaka, and Luis are the only tradables and the bench is two. Okay. Hmm, what would I say with this team? I think you can do better than Son. I really do. I think that at this stage of the game, you can do a little bit better than Son. I don't think Son's a bad card. I think you can maybe either upgrade that version of Son or do a little bit better. I think you can do the same with Sharp. Now, I think we're going to get a community guaranteed team of the season pack either today on Wednesday or tomorrow on Thursday. Um, now, that could change people's teams drastically as well. You could get yourself a Joe Gomez. You could get yourself a Felipe Anderson, a Zaha. Or if you're running like a Bundesliga set, you can get Mukiel. You can get Moses Simon for a league gun setup. It's going to change people's teams drastically. So what I would say is... If you're in a situation like this where you have a team that you're happy with, but you're looking to potentially upgrade one or two players from this or that position, wait for the guaranteed team of the season packs or the team of the season weekend league rewards um, and see what you get in those. I think that that would, uh, that would probably be um, a good shout for you because I don't want to tell you to make some, uh, some changes and those changes not be the right fit for the, uh, for the squad. Anyway, the next one coming from Hady or Hadi, who says, uh, Godin, Handanovic and Latara are tradable. Love your videos, mate. I appreciate it, dude. Wow, a nice uh, mid Stoichkov untradable. That's actually the uh, the first person I've seen with a mid Stoichkov untradable. And he's got the Cannavaro from Icon Swaps. I respect that. I respect that a lot, actually. Um, that was a card I would have gone for had I not gone for the Prime Icon pack. The card looks incredible and probably plays incredibly in game. Let me know down below if he does. Um, so with this team, this team looks really good. And I'm guessing you play a 4 2 3 1 in game, which you do. Um, what would I say with this? What is Politano's weak foot? This is. This is going to be quite important, I think. Um, is he four-star? Okay, he is four-star. Because Stoichkov is... I used to think Stoichkov was five-star for some reason, but he's three-star, right? Yeah, Stoichkov is three-star weak foot. I would probably say keep it the same. The only thing I'm thinking of is... Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess you could keep it the same. I guess he is left-footed as well, so it won't make a huge difference. I was going to say maybe swap them, but... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I think probably just keep them the same, to be honest. I'm just thinking how much you use your right foot for shooting on the right-hand side as opposed to the left-hand side, but I think you probably use it a little bit more on the left-hand side than the right-hand side. And I'm just waffling on. Uh, I think you could definitely improve Thorsby. Now, in the last episode, I said Thorsby's quite slow. You saw one like Allen. What I meant was Thorsby has more pace than Allen, and I totally understand that, and I, you know, I get that. Uh, he's got 83 pace. Thorsby being a six foot two player generally feels a little bit more clunky on the ball. I know he's got great agility and balance. I have personally used Thorsby. I used him for two weekend leagues in a row, so I know how he plays. Um, this card, although don't get me wrong, is you know it's it's fast. It's got good dribbling. He feels a little bit too clunky on the ball because he's quite tall. Whereas Allen is a little bit more self centered, uh, down to earth. That doesn't sound right when you're describing it. I mean that he's got better center of gravity and he's, you know, he's lower down. Um, he's he's better with balance and things like that. And he feels less clunky on the ball. Um, that's why I recommended Allen. Plus, Allen has four-star skills, four-star weak foot, which I think is quite important as a center mid. Um, that's another shout that you could go with Allen as your left center mid. Um, team of the season, Bentacore is another one you could try out if you're just looking to try some players out. Um, but you never know. You could get team of the season, Bentacore in the guaranteed pack either today or tomorrow. I wouldn't really change much else for this team, though. City A team of the season, Season should be out in two or three weeks. I think you'll improve the team a lot, you know, come team of the season for the City A. Um, you might get lucky in rewards and stuff like that. So I wouldn't change really too much because this is a really good team. And you never know, we could get some really cool City A uh, SBCs, player SBCs or objectives. So I would just, I, I would, I would hold on. I would hold on. I don't want to sit here and tell you to change anything when realistically it's a very, very nice built team. You know, it, it's almost an end game team. Next one coming from Jinji, who says, I've always wanted to be on I rate your teams and I'm willing to save up 54k. Everyone untradeable apart from Cancelo and Sanchez. Let's check it out. Hmm. What would I do here? I would say... I would play Fuchs as your left centre-back and get an English left-back. Now, I don't think there's a huge amount of amazing English left-backs, but I think there is probably a couple um, that are probably better at left-back than Davinson Sanchez is at centre-back. I mean, we can quickly have a look, though. Uh, English, left-backs... Where is England? There it is. Let's check it out. 
This informed Ben Chinwell. Ben Chinwell. I always say Chinwell by accident. Chilwell. This informed Ben Chilwell. He's, you know, not fantastic, but not the worst. There's Luke Shaw. We could get another one next week, or we could get like a player SPC or something. Um, I think that you'll probably find Fuchs better at centre back. Um, as opposed to Davinson Sanchez. And then, I mean, you could go Fuchs over at left centre-back spot and then you could swap over uh, Laporte and, and Fuchs and, and play Laporte on 8 chem and get yourself maybe winter refresh shoots at left-back. Um, regardless, I think that it's probably a better shout to uh, play Fuchs over here at left centre-back as opposed to left-back. Now, I would also change your Felipe Anderson to a left-mid. You probably already know this, but he's getting four chemistry at left wing right now, and he's going to get seven chemistry with the left mid. So just, it's a 200k consumable. Sorry, it's a 200 coin consumable. You may as well, 200k consumable. Could you imagine? Um, next team coming from Bell. Be I can't speak right now. Ben Gilmore. Ben's team, he says, hi, Haber. My who team is, my whole team is untradeable. I've got 50,000 coins, and I don't know how to improve. Love the viz, keep with the good work. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it, dude. So you're playing Eze at striker. Don't know about that one, Chief. Um, you have a quick look at Eze. Is he on the is he on the the most popular page? He is not, but he is over here. Eze, 89 pace, not bad. Uh, 87 finishing, 76 composure is pretty awful though. I mean, I would probably put. I'd be honest with you. I put Nedved over Eze at, at striker. I think Nedved's probably better off. Um, but you have uh the beauty of having. That spot completely blocked off by icons. You can go with literally anyone. So strikers for like 50k, to be honest, you've probably got a lot of decent options. I mean, how much is this Mitro card? This can't be too much, surely. 78k. I mean, you could go with Mitrovic and, and try him out. Uh, I'm sure that he's probably really good. Uh, put a chem style on him and he looks absolutely, actually phenomenal. 99 finishing, 99 composure, etc. Um, his stamina will probably be an issue, but I mean, you could probably get around that. Uh, this Doyle card for the new team of the season is not too bad either. Um, you can put a uh, camp style on him to improve his stats. There's probably actually a lot of decent EFL team of the seasons that you could probably go with here um, at striker that are probably uh, pretty decent. I've just realized you're using Luca Tone, not easy. I am an idiot. I am so stupid. You guys are all commenting right now how stupid I am. And I'm an absolute, I'm, I'm, I'm really stupid. I am so sorry. Oh, my brain. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? Okay. Hear me out, okay? That badge looks a lot similar to this badge, all right? The the badges look similar. Oh, no. The badges look similar, all right? I, my, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm tired. Anyway, the point still stands. You can go with any striker there you want. If you find a striker that you like the look of, you can always replace him. Um, I would say maybe upgrade Furl and Mendy at some point to a better French left back. Um... Not the biggest fan of Lippmann, but obviously, you know, you've got him for Michael and Swap, so you probably want to keep hold of him. Yeah, the rest of the team is solid, though. From a 4-1-2-1-2 uh, four, two, two narrow perspective, you've got what you need. You've got a defensive right centre mid. You've got a really good CDM and more of an attacking left centre mid, although you could definitely improve the left centre mid, in my opinion. Um, and I see you've benched Drogba, so obviously Tony must be pretty good for you. I can't believe that. I, I can't believe that I thought... Tone was easy. Oh, my, I'm sorry. I'm tired. Okay. That's my excuse every time. I'm tired. Um, Ethan says, hi, hey, but the tradables are Ruby Costa into Stegen and a play forward to on two narrow in game. I have 90,000 coins to improve. Let's check it out. Um, okay. He's got lasagna up top with Essien. That can't be right. What? Tradables are Rui Costa into Stegen and a play a four, one, two, on two narrow in game. This, this has got to be wrong, surely. Uh, either I am getting, either I am getting mugged off here, or you meant to put like Sane up top, Essien at centre mid, and 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 or CDM and like Rui Costa at centre mid. Regardless, this, this midfield is way too attacking. Um, in my opinion, given how you start, I would say um, probably get rid of Rui Costa. Uh, let me double check how many coins you got because I don't think you've got many of you. 90,000 coins to improve. I would save up your coins to improve on Rui Costa. There's a whole host of different players you can go with here. Now, if you've got any icon swap tokens left, which I'm guessing you probably do, given that you have a prime Desai there, you could go with Moments Lampard. He'll be a pretty good box-to-box. -box. Um, he's a little bit more defending. Or you could go with uh, Moments Gattuso. He'll be a really good CDM. And then Essien is your, is your right-sided midfielder. It's a little bit more, uh, little bit more defensive-based. Um, but yeah, I mean, your defense is top-notch. Would it make it... Oh, yeah, you've got to stay in. That's, you're trying to get to stay in on chemistry. I was going to say, would it make a big difference putting Fuchs there? But you are trying to get to stay in a full chem, so I get that. Um, yeah, I mean, your defense is top-notch. Your attack is pretty decent, apart from not sure about Essien at striker. 
Um, that is definitely Essien, right? Yeah, just checking. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say just work on your midfield here, mate, to be honest. Um, and you've definitely got Eichel Stop Soakers to help you out with that. Next one coming from Nick, who says, I have Fred instead of Rykov, worth about 200k, with about 200k, sorry. Uh, thinking of getting Neymar for right wing, keep it the good word. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, Neymar for right wing. I guess you'd probably use Rykov to get a full chemistry there, but Rykov's getting a link to thingy over there. I mean, how would you get a full chemistry over here? Neymar would literally be on full chem. You know who you could go right wing? You could save up a little bit more coins and go with football they say Maximin at right wing. Um, he's probably going to cost you an extra four or 500k. Um, but with a few weeks of rewards, a little bit of trading or, or a little bit of, of, of SBC grinding like Conan Ball and stuff like that, you'd definitely be able to get there. You can also swap Sissoko and uh, uh, Ozil then and get everyone on full chemistry. Uh, so that would also work pretty well. Um, I like the team though. I like the defensive line as well. I do. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe, I was going to say Bentacor, but I don't think you'd be able to get him in a full chemistry. Yeah, I, don't, I just think you'd struggle to get him in a full chemistry as well um, over Ozil. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think it'd just be too much hassle to get him in on full chemistry. You could also keep Bellarabi and go down the Goretzka route. That wouldn't be the worst shout in the world. But I mean, you're going to be playing then, I think, Goretzka and uh, Bella in off chemistry as well, which would be a little bit difficult. Um, so yeah, it's, I mean, it's your call. If you want to go Neymar, go Neymar. But I think, say Maximin is a five-star, five-star. Um, he's, in my opinion, just as good as normal Neymar, if not better. Um, so yeah, he'd be a decent shout. Next one coming from Ethan Bernard, who says, this is my full untradeable first stone of glory team. That's impressive, man. I had 300,000 coins for upgrades and I'm trying to re uh, find replacement for icons. I was thinking about working towards a new Goretzka at left cam. I uh, love the Vince Broski. Keep it the good work. Now, yeah, it wouldn't be a bad shout. I don't think Goretzka will be the world's best cam. He has really good stats. Don't get me wrong. And looking at the card and the base card and stuff, 90 shooting, 91 dribbling, etc. It looks like he would be incredible at cam. 92 rated cam. The thing is with this card, in my opinion, now now it's going to be uh, uh, difficult to, to a lot of people that maybe don't understand the game or, or don't understand where I'm coming from with this. Even with a chem style like this on and him being a 95 cam, he's going to be really clunky. On the ball, off the ball. Now, looking at your team, I mean, I would guess, given the players you've got, you like, you like to dribble. I would guess. Um, so I think he probably struggles to dribble a little bit. He would be a fantastic addition though. As a, uh, this, this team, by the way, first owner is unbelievable. That is absolutely unbelievable. Um, but like, yeah, I think, I think you struggle to, to find a lot of space with him and stuff like that. He'd be way better suited as a CDM in my opinion, but you've got two fantastic CDMs as is. If you think that he would fit your style as a cam, go for it. Just, I think Goretzka would be, be way better off as a box to box center mid or a, or a CDM personally. That's why I'm going to be personally playing mine. Um, and we'll sort of see how he plays there. Um, I like quite aggressive CDMs, so he'll probably work pretty well in my team. But like I said, if he fits your play style, go for it. Um, he'd definitely be a good replacement to Loudrup if he fits the way you play. Um, maybe you like more passing build-up and finding space without dribbling and tiki-taka. Uh, and if you do, then he'll probably be perfect, perfect for your play style, to be honest. But like I said, incredibly impressive how good this team is. Um, I am very surprised. And I see Ronaldo on the bench. I hope... That Ronaldo is alone. Because if it's not, then this is ridiculous. But GG's on that. Um, next one coming from Andrew. Who is that in his, in his profile picture? I'm guessing that's Andrew. But I thought that was Morgs. I really did. I thought he had a Morgs profile picture for a second when it was when it was a small picture. Um, anyway, he says, Tradables are Thiago, Coutinho, and Tellers. I have no coins, but I'm willing to save. Play a 4 3 3 4 with Thiago, right in the mid, and Coutinho, Cam. Keep it the good content. Hey, appreciate it, dude. That Thiago, by the way, I think I said it in the last episode, but I'm going to reiterate, is unbelievable. He is absolutely fantastic. Phenomenal card. Highly, highly recommend. Now, looking at this team, you know what would work pretty well? Goretzka, to be honest. Uh, you're playing, what, a 4-3-3-4. Four, three, three, four. Thiago writes in the mid. Coutinho Cam. So you're playing, what, Hulk as a winger or Raul? In my opinion, play Coutinho as a left wing. Or you could even replace Coutinho with somebody else. Um, put Goretzka in Hulk spot. Uh, that would allow you then to to have a, a free roam in left wing to whoever you want. You could even get someone like Neymar off chemistry or something. Um, but get yourself that Goretzka card over Hulk and play Goretzka as a, a left centre mid and play Thiago as a cam. Um, and then you've got Raul up top. You can get his, any, any left wing you want and Adama right wing. I think that'd probably be a little bit better uh, than what you're rocking at the minute. But the rest of the team's solid. I like the Brazilian backline as well. That works really well. Um, I like the SPCs. One thing I've always said and and... 
you know, I'm a big fan of this and something that I've always praised EA for. This year, they really seem to have, have worked on releasing cards and, and content and stuff that work well together. For example, a lot of um, Brazilians on the back line, we've got the Rafael slash Fabio, we've got Miranda, we've got uh, David Luiz. Um, I'm trying to think, we've got Alexandro's player moments. Um, that that in itself has been fantastic. We've got ourselves flashback Noya, flashback, or oh, sorry, player moments Boateng, flashback Hummels, player moments Kimmich, and player moments Gare uh, Goretzka, player moments uh, Alfonso Davies, flashback Pizchek. The Bundesliga teams are going to be fantastic in players in places where they might have been a little bit weaker. Um, they've been doing really well, so I've been I've been thoroughly impressed by EA. I just thought I'd uh, I'd give them some praise there because I don't feel like I praise them enough for the things they do right. So I just want to say fair enough, EA. You know, you've got something pretty right there. So fair play. Um, this is going to be LFC for life's team. He says, I have 3K and the bench is Eder Militao. Um, sorry, I have 3K. Benjamin Mendy, Eder Militao, Lewandowski, Cordoba, and Dembele are untradeable suggestions. Uh, I suggest get rid of Kevin Campbell. Replace Kevin Campbell with somebody a little bit better. Uh, and then I would say work on getting a better version of Kai Havertz or replacing Kai Havertz. Um, like I said, the community team this season might help you out a lot. Um, this centre-back card is actually not bad as well, but I don't think it's worth trying to fit him in the team, to be honest. Um, next one coming from Hamza. We're doing a little bit of a longer episode today, and we might try a 40-minute episode on Sunday as well. Let me know down below in the comments if you want that. Uh, this one I'm going to try and get to about 30 minutes, roughly. Uh, just a little bit of a longer episode. Next one coming from Hamza. He says, uh, everyone including the bench is untradeable except for Militao and Terrera. I have 50,000 coins. I'm more than happy to grind for improvements. Love you, vids. Hey, I appreciate it, dude. All right. Wow. Hazard, untradeable for birthday is incredible. Um, I see that Kyle Walker there. You know what you could do? Uh, with the coins you've got, you've only got 50k, but it's not going to take you long to save up for it. Get yourself team of the season for Nandinho at the right center mid spot over Ducore. I think that'll be a big improvement. Kyle Walker's in a full chemistry. A big improvement to Ducore, in my opinion. That, by the way, red at Bamiyang as well. The pack look here is pretty insane. Uh, so GG's on that. But yeah, I think that you could definitely improve uh, that right center mid spot by getting yourself team of the season for Nandinho. Uh, and he'll get everyone on full chem as well. Very decent shout. Next one coming from Ahmed, who says, I've got uh, I've got 350k liquid, swapping Osman and Alwa in game. Uh, I've got Carrasco, Sadiq Griezmann, Mendy, Saul, and Kara are tradable. Uh, Ramadan Kareem to all you Muslim fans. Hey, I, Ramadan Kareem to all of you guys. I haven't really touched upon it because I'll be honest with you, I didn't know what to say and I didn't want to offend anyone or say the wrong thing uh, but I hope you all are having having a great ramadan i don't know if that's the right thing to say but if it is i, I mean i hope it is uh, basically i'm just wishing you guys all support during this time um and uh, and much love to you guys to any of my muslim followers um or anyone taking part in ramadan uh which i think is just muslims uh you know massive support from me to you thank you all for watching the content as well i really appreciate it um but yeah let's check out the team so um you swap Oshman and Awa in game, mate. The 4-3-3-4 has actually turned me apart so many times, especially when the 4 one 2 2 narrow. Uh, the only thing I would say is Saul is a little bit slow. You could definitely improve Saul with a different uh, center mid from La Liga. Um, just thinking of different options you can go with here. Uh, we can have a quick look at, at different options on Footbin for CDM slash center mid slash center attacking mid from La Liga. There have been so many promo cards this year that I always forget them. Um, Frankie De Jong is definitely one you can go with his inform or something, or Future Stars Valverde, although they are both pretty expensive options. I mean, you've got 350k, but they're both pretty expensive options. This is definitely a card that would work perfectly, in my opinion. He is an incredible looking card. Uh, this is a card I think I'm going to end up doing at some point. When we go through those those slower periods of the game where there's SBCs and stuff, but like no content, no uh, no players in packs, nothing to pack, and we just get in like maybe golden grades and stuff where we can rinse and get a bunch of high rated fodder. I go through them all the time. Instead of just saving my fodder, I think I'm going to start using it in Vidal and the other player moments that are out right now. Um, just, you know, to build up the club. Uh, it'll be nice to have this card in there in case I ever choose to to get like a, 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 a I don't know a Barcelona player. Maybe I, maybe I choose to use Messi at some point, um, or maybe I get lucky in a in a guaranteed team of the season pack and pack myself like a team of the season Messi or Griezmann or something, and I want to use them. Uh, he'd be a perfect way to link them. So, but yeah, I think he'd work perfectly in your team, mate. Uh, next one coming from uh, Saika, who says this is my full first owner team, four two three one in game. I am planning to replace Yedder with Inform Neymar, uh, Dese with Maldini, leaving me with NECB, right wing, and goalkeeper. I want 3 million coins. Wait, you say Rota Glory team? First owner team, sorry. First owner team. I mean, it's a nice team. You've got mid Eusebio and tradable. That's pretty incredible. Uh, wow, you've got you've got Marcelo as well. So you're looking to do this. What I would say with this team, right wing with three with three million coins, here's what you can do. 
you, you center back and goalkeeper you can get really good center back and goalkeeper for pretty damn cheap uh now looking at a card i'm, I'm a big fan of this year is Cannavaro. um i'm a big fan of this card if you want to go with this card and go with to stay in goal that would work now something you could also do which might cost you a little bit more but would be probably pretty worth it get yourself a para who is about 160k personally did it myself and it is about 160 to 180k and then get yourself any goalkeeper you want i would probably say van der sar would be your best bet uh go with the middle one i'm a big fan of the middle one uh or you know you could go with the baby one or the prime version whichever one you want but i think the middle one's the best version uh the prime one is a bit cheaper though if you want to go with the prime one uh that'll cost you about 500k for the center back and the goalkeeper then over at right wing football they say max mean easy there you've got a fantastic right wing there left wing you need a brazilian um, or or you can just go, you can go and do the play moments Hazard SBC, but I think that's a little bit too much for a, an untradeable player. You can get yourself Inform Hazard. Uh, in terms of Brazilian left wings, there's a few different shouts to be fair. Um, I just want to make sure I get all of them before I, uh, before I start commenting. You can go with Team of the Season, um, Team of the Season, Felipe Anderson. You can go with, uh, you know, Gabriel Martinelli's Future Stars card. Douglas Costa's for birthday card, who is not great at finishing, but everything else is pretty decent. Uh, you can go with Leonardo's League SBC card. You can go with Bernardo, uh, sorry, Bernard's uh, Halloween card, his Scream card. Uh, there's a load of different options you can go at left wing, or you can go straight Icon and get yourself a Nevbed or, or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'd say, I'd say, if I was you, what I would personally do is a Parrot at right side of the back, uh, Prime Badassar in goal, Foot Birthday to the Maximum right wing, and then probably uh, Team of the Season, Felipe Anderson, left wing. Um, or Hazard, to be honest, but very nice team. I'm going to end it today with uh, Evan's team. I've already seen, I've already shown it. I don't want to not show it and him be super mad uh, at me. So we're going to show uh, Voker and Evan's team with the last two of the episode. It says, hi, hey, but the second picture is how I play in game. I have 400k coins and all these players are untradeable. I'm trying to get the moments over miles from swaps. Any suggestions for the team? Love your vids from Indonesia. Wow, that's, that's, that's amazing. I can't believe I have, I have people supporting me from all over the world. Uh, keep up the good work. I appreciate it, my friend. That, that honestly is so crazy to me. I like what you're doing here to get everyone on full chem. I think that it's a really, uh, it's a really cool way to get everyone on full chem here. Not a big fan of Lozano, though. Really not. In terms of a right wing, you need a French player. You've got 400,000 coins. You've, got, you've already got one sort of by Nidder. Otherwise, I'd recommend saving it for the shapeshifter. A right wing... 400k let's have a quick look what we can what we can roll with over here in terms of french plays i'm i'm sure there's a few decent options you can go with here uh usman dembele for 500k if you save up a little bit more is a phenomenal shout won't get full chemistry we'll get we'll get near enough uh, it'll get eight chemistry which is in my opinion good enough um you can go with Saint maximine but you're probably only gonna be able to get his 84 rated and it's gonna be a left wing off chem um so you could try that, although if you're doing that, you may as well play Dan James right wing off chem and full chem St. Maximine as opposed to both of them off chemistry, if that makes sense. Um, you could play, uh, you know, you could play Dan James on eight chem. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say just improve the right wing. The rest of the team is incredible. It's very, very good. So I th I'd say right wing is the only place realistically you need any real improvement. And then Evan's team to end the episode. The first pick is with starting and second is in game. And get up to 12 icon swaps and I have a budget of about 300,000 coins. I packed VVD and Brandt in my Twitch pack. Uh, keep with the good work. You packed, va wow. You packed VVD and team of the season Brandt in your Twitch pack. That's incredible. GG on that. Uh, so you got Antoine Griezmann's little brother at left mid or something. I swear, I look exactly the same. Uh, this team is very interesting. You have a very slow uh, Suarez and, uh, and Diego Costa follow, uh, like surrounded by really pacey players. You must have an interesting play style. And I, for that reason, I'm not going to recommend anybody. I'm just going to say uh, people like Varon, you know, you like you know, players like that. A good replacement for Varon could be Balak. Um, you know, that sort of style player. Balak is definitely uh, the step up from Varon. Uh, you want to replace Suarez at Cam. Griezmann would be a decent replacement. Uh, and when I say I don't want to recommend anyone, I don't want to say get get rid of Diego Costa for, um, I don't know, Rodrigo, you know, because they're two completely different players. So that's why I'm sort of being careful here because I think that you've definitely got your own play style here that I don't really want to mess with very much. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. A little bit of a longer episode today and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I must say, as the episodes get longer and longer, like when I when I talk for longer and longer, more silly things come out of my head. So, yeah. Um, also, don't look at what's trending. We don't need to look at that. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the epic support. And I'll see you later.